Hey there, Tapas Fleming here, tatlife.com. When we're aware of other people suffering and big things going on in the world that are impacting our hearts, our feelings, our compassion, sometimes we find ourselves thinking, what I do won't make a difference. What I do isn't enough. I'll never be contribute at a level that's meaningful any kind of thoughts like that. So I'd like to show you something that can help your mind be at peace and help you feel more free and um, valued in yourself and in the world and by others when you're having those kind of thoughts. This is what to do for it. So with the TAT pose, you can say opposites to yourself just that much, and that can help bring peace to your mind in a very simple way. So here's what you do. Do the TAT pose, that's thumb and ring finger, light touch above the upper inner corner of each eye, middle finger just midline and about a half inch or so above eyebrow level, and your other hand at the base of your head with your thumb, just above your hairline back there, not down on your neck, but so your thumb's just above your hairline and your palm centered. You're not sticking your thumb in the notch, it's just across, mid, mid line. So what you do then is you just notice the thoughts that you're actually having. You don't try to remove yourself from those thoughts, you just allow yourself to notice what they are. So you do you do the TAT pose and put your attention on one thought like, I can never give enough. And then you put your attention on the opposite. I can give enough. Or if that seems like too big a step, you can put your attention on it's possible like this. It's possible that I can give enough. And then look at your next thought, like, what I do is insignificant and valueless. And then what I do is significant and full of value. Um, and then maybe I can't give enough to really help. I can give enough to really help. What I can give is so small, it won't matter. What I can give is small and it does matter. So however many of those kind of thoughts you have, you just say it to yourself exactly the way it is and say the opposite. And like I said, if it feels like the opposite feels like, oh, too much, you can try doing it's possible that, or it could be that, and then you could try the complete opposite. Another way to do it is like this. It's true that I can never give enough to make a difference. It's not true that I can never give enough to make a difference. It's short, it's sweet, it's simple, and it allows your mind to collapse into quiet and peace. I hope this helps you feel that peace and feel the happiness of whatever you are moved to give. Thank you for listening and see you next time.